Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken and today's experiment is the fascinating oscillating reaction. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is the oscillating reaction kit, which you can see and where to get in the description. So caution, the fascinating oscillating reaction kit is a safe experiment kit to use as directed. However, anything can be dangerous if used the wrong way. Adult supervision and please read the directions. This is a really uh, fun experiment. So to set it up, we need to have two different glasses marked A and B because we're going to mix two different solutions together. I'm putting 40 milliliters of distilled water in cup A. And in cup B, I'm going to put 40 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. And then we're going to put some chemicals in each one of them, which I'll be going over, that comes in the kit. And then we're going to mix them together and a really cool uh, thing's going to happen that you're, you're going to really love. Now in cup A, we're going to put sulfamic acid. We're going to put four of the little scoops. Uh, the scooper comes with the kit. So we're going to put four of these scoops. Uh, kind of level it out if you need to. Um, and you put four of those in. Uh, and solution A only. And that was the distilled water that was in A. Then once we get that, then we're going to put two scoops of sodium iodate. Um, so we're going to put two scoops of that in solution A. So we're going to have uh, the two different chemicals and uh, the 40 milliliters of distilled water. Now we're going to mix it up um, so it's completely dissolved. So you just give it a stir for just a little bit. You can see in there, um, you're not going to be able to see it here very well, but when you look in you'll be able to see that it's completely dissolved in there and then you can stop stirring. And once that's done, then we're going to go on to solution B. Alright, for now for solution B, we're going to start adding in some chemicals. We've got the magnesium sulfate. We're just going to put a little bit on our finger there. You can see there's a little bit of grains and just kind of uh, put that in there. You don't even want uh, half a scoop. So just a very little bit of the magnesium sulfate going into the cup B, which is hydrogen peroxide. And then we're going to do four scoops of the malonic acid. So four of the, the scoops here, um, adding into cup B. Um, and put that in there. Um, make sure you don't have it too high. I'm kind of just pat it down so it's a, a good scoop. And once we get those four scoops in, then we're going to want to stir that solution so it's completely dissolved. Uh, we're also going to be adding the starch solution. So we want to give that a really good shake on the starch solution. And we're going to put in anywhere from around 14 drops, 14 to 16. Uh, once we get that in, then we're going to mix that up. So the uh, malonic acid and the magnesium sulfate and the starch are completely stirred up. Now the starch is already going to be mixed in, but the uh, magnesium sulfate and the malonic acid, you'll see the crystals on the bottom. So if you still see the crystals, continue to stir until they're completely dissolved into both the solutions. And then we'll be ready to do our experiment because now we'll be completely set up. And it's really, really cool what's going to happen. So we take cup A and B at the same time and pour it into a third cup. And then it's going to do the reaction. So we'll go ahead and watch it. And we say what color it is. We all look like it's orange. Oh, it's purple. It's a dark black. It's an iodine, which is pretty cool. So we switched it to color. But it's going to continue to do the cycle. Now it's going back to orange, which is pretty cool. And then it's going to go back to a dark purple again, just like that when it switches pretty quick. And then it keeps rotating through, which is I think is completely awesome. It'll continue to do this multiple times before it stops. And um, it's just incredible. In this one-of-a-kind chemistry kit, you can make a clear solution and watch it change to yellow, to blue, purple, black, and then back to colorless. It's amazing to watch the colors repeat to the color cycle again and again. How does this whole thing work? Well, there's many reactions going on at the same time. I'll try to simplify this the best I can. However, it still might be confusing. In this experiment, there are two main reactions. The one that generates iodine and one that depletes iodine. At the very beginning of the reaction that produces iodine dominates, which is why the solution turns yellow. Then the iodine complex is starch and it starts to turn a blue-black complex. The iodine then cuts off its own production and the reaction depletes the iodine that takes over. 
the iodine is used up and the iodine starch complex associates and the solution reverts back to a clear color. So there is a couple different kits that you can see in the description where you can get it or where, where I actually bought it from. And the kits, uh, there's a regular kit and a classroom kit. So the regular kit is enough to do two or three different times. And the classroom kit exactly does a classroom uh, multiple times. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe as we do a new video every day. Thanks for watching.